Hi, I'm Bruce Popham. Welcome to Marathon Boatyard Marine Center. I'm the owner and operator of this facility. We run the only clean designated boat yard in the Florida Keys as per the Department of Environmental Protection of the state of Florida. I sit on the Sanctuary Advisory Council for the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. I represent the marine industry seat. Our council was the very first ever put together for any National Marine Sanctuary. We have 20 seats and they represent a broad cross section of businesses in the community. Not only the marine industry for like we are, but the dive industry, tourism industry, elected officials. So it's a good representation across the board of the community. My focus as a businessman within the sanctuary has been trying to keep a balance of running a business and still being able to have the right things going on in the sanctuary. And that's a challenge. Florida is the number one destination in the country for cruisers to come to. And the number one destination in Florida is the Florida Keys. Boaters want to go places that are pretty and pristine and have really nice water. And within the National Marine Sanctuary, which is a 2,900 square miles of protected water, you know, we want to do everything we can to make sure that water stays as pristine with a very vibrant marine environment in it. What I'd like to do is show you a little bit around my boat yard and show you some of the things that we do. Uh, this is a vacuum bag sander, so uh, when we're doing sandy work, you can see that the vacuum attaches to it here. So when we do bottom work, and most bottom, bottom paints nowadays have copper oxide in them, so we want to capture all of the dust off this boat into the bag, and then we can then you can dispose of this properly. But what you don't want is you don't want that dirt and dust to get on the ground because then it washes into the water. Well, copper oxide is a is a poisonous item. We don't sand any boat with any bottom paint, any anti fouling paint on it without the vacuum bag sander. We recycle it. Uh, uh, a tremendous amount of stuff. A lot of stuff that comes off the boats we recycle. The money that we get from our uh, people that come in and buy our recycling from us all goes into a, a fund that goes into a bonus structure at the end of the year so they participate in the recycling. Steel, aluminum, bronze, electrical wire which is pr primarily copper. We also recycle oil, oil filters, antifreeze, batteries. We take hazardous waste like uh, fluorescent light bulbs and mercury out of bilge pumps. We recycle a lot of stuff. This is kind of a staging area for us here. You can see these folks are loading up some steel here for us right now. Um, so they're picking up stuff. The big challenge we have here is that we're loving the Keys to death. We have t over three million people a year that come to the Keys. And the impact that that amount of people in these small islands is dramatic. And we're going to have to balance that out somehow. And it's, it's going to be a real challenge. The resource itself is hanging on, getting better in some areas, but not getting well in other areas. In order for us to be successful and keep this going for another 25 years or, or more, we're going to have to be a little more aggressive in some of what we do in regard to, to controlling some of the, the business aspects of it. Why do I care? Uh, because we want clean water here and we want vibrant life. This is a National Marine Sanctuary, so we don't want poison going back into the water when we can control it. Either you're part of the problem or part of the solution. It's your choice on what you want to be, so I choose to be part of the solution.